The Masters is steeped in tradition, and one of the favorite traditions here at the Masters is the honorary start. And this morning, early this morning, three golf legends officially christened this year's tournament play. Jack Nicklaus, Gary Player, and Tom Watson, who isn't completely recovered from an injury in November. That's not the normal hand I tee it up with. <laughs> All right. You don't ride go karts at my age. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> Two-time Masters champ Tom Watson was in a go-kart accident on the track he made for his grandkids and had shoulder surgery replacement back in November. He tweeted that photo. So it's impressive he was even able to hit this morning, not even six months out. It was his second year on the first tee. Nicholas Player and Watson have a total of 11 green jackets among the three of them, as well as 140 Masters appearances across six decades. And as always, a sea of patrons gathered to pay tribute to these golf legends. Uh, the ability to play a game for a living. You, know, you all work for a living, right? I play a game for a living. How, it can't be any better than that. This is my 65th appearance here. And uh, you walk on the first tee and you say, well, this might be the last one. So I think gratitude is a word for me. You just heard Mr. Player reference his 65th Masters appearance. Well, today was a major milestone for another golf legend. It is the 60th anniversary of Jack Nicklaus's first green jacket win. And Will, you were there this morning as Jack told us the story of when he was walking up the 18th green, took a look at the leaderboard, and he says he's colorblind, so he didn't know if he was in the lead or if he was tied and he had to actually ask his caddy about that. It was a great story and we'll have much more from Jack tonight on News 12 at 530. Yeah, Meredith, you hear all the time how hard it is to win the Masters and yeah. maybe being colorblind probably helped him. You couldn't <laughs> tell where he was on the leaderboard there. There's no stress there. You don't get to look up and see where all the guys stand. So maybe it helped him out in the long run. Maybe on his first one, but you know what? He went to win five more after that. Six-time Masters champion. It's a record that I don't know if anyone's going to be able to beat, Will. Yeah, absolutely. And like you said, there's stories. You could listen to him talk all day. We look forward to hearing the one in the next half hour. Thanks for that, Mary.